Welcome back to another episode of Professionals Podcasting. In this episode, personal injury attorney Jeff Murphy discusses what damages are and how they're categorized. I have been uh, practicing personal injury law for over 30 years now. And uh, one of the most frequent questions I get from clients and, and one of the best questions I get from them is, um, what damages can I recover in a personal injury case or in a wrongful death case? And, you know, really at the end of the day, that's, that's the most important question for a client. And the answer to that question is the most important thing for them. You know, they want to know what, what can they recover out of their case? And so what I typically tell them is, um, the type of damages that are recoverable. Usually they're broken down into two categories. Generally they're called economic damages uh, or or non-economic damages. And in a personal injury or wrongful death, death case, you're entitled to both of those types of damages. What are economic damages? Those are tangible damages, damages you can see and feel and touch and put your finger on. Uh, generally, they fall into a couple of different categories. First is medical bills. So you are entitled to recover the medical bills that you've incurred as a result of somebody else's negligence. And you can obviously get those bills for past medical bills. In other words, if you had to go to the emergency room, the hospital, uh, treat with doctors up until the time of settlement, those are known as past medical bills. You're also entitled to recover future medical bills. And uh, if you have a doctor, you do need medical testimony to support that. So if you have a doctor that says that it is likely that in the future you are going to need X, Y, or Z, maybe you're going to need injections, maybe you're going to need some sort of a surgical procedure a year or two from now, you're entitled to recover those damages as well. And a jury can award you both past and future medical bills. One of the things you also need to consider is what kind of insurance do you have? Do you have uh, automobile insurance to cover some of your bills? Do you have health insurance to cover some of your bills? Um, and, and an experienced attorney can help you with that. Some clients come in and they don't have any insurance at all. And so we have to find them doctors who will treat them on what's called a letter of protection, which means that the doctor will get paid if and when the case settles. That's what's known as a, a letter of protection. And an experienced personal injury attorney will know plenty of doctors um, who, can, uh, who are willing to treat you on the basis of a letter of protection. The other uh, category of damages and really kind of the wild card is known as non-economic damages. And those are things that you really can't put a finger on, you can't see, you can't touch, but they're real. They're, they're every bit as real as economic damages. And they typically include things like loss of support or loss of companionship um, of the person who has been injured. Most importantly, and what you most frequently hear is pain and suffering. Those are usually the biggest non-economic damages uh, that you can recover in a personal injury or wrongful death claim. And because they're what we call intangible, um, you know, you can't really see or, or readily identify what those damages are. You need an experienced personal injury attorney, somebody who's been doing it for a long time and can tell you what a jury is likely to award for pain and suffering. These kinds of damages typically boil down to the seriousness of your injury. So if you have a whiplash injury where you've stretched some ligaments and tendons in your neck or your back, uh, then you're going to have pain and suffering that, that's at a certain level. If you have a case that involves pain management, injections, radiofrequency ablation procedures, your case is going to be worth more from a pain and suffering standpoint. If you have a case involving surgery or paralysis or death, then obviously the pain and suffering damages are going to be worth a lot more than somebody who has been through a whiplash or something that is more minor. So you are entitled to these non-economic damages, this pain and suffering, 
for the past, meaning from the date of the accident up to the time of settlement. And a jury can also award future pain and suffering damages. So if they know that you've been through a surgery and you're still having problems and your injury is permanent and it's going to go on and on and on for the rest of your life, a good attorney will have the jury award you pain and suffering damages for the future as well. The most important thing really is that you contact an experienced personal injury attorney who can guide you through the case and can let you know what you're entitled to recover for your injuries. Thank you for listening today.